how to calculate capitalization or cap rate in real estate. You'll want to know how to determine these things because whether you're buying or selling, these numbers matter to you. On this episode, we're going to be talking everything cap rate, what it means and how to evaluate it and if you should be looking for a high or low number. So what your cap rate is, where you typically see cap rate used is on commercial MLS listings such as CoStar or LoopNet. That is what that asset is producing or generating as far as a return net. So a quick scenario on how to determine what or how to calculate your cap rate is let's just take a sales price of a commercial asset at a million dollars. Let's just say that the income gross income before any adjustments is at hundred thousand dollars. Then what we do is we subtract costs such as management and etc. Let's just say that's at 20%. Then we subtract from there vacancy. We have to figure in the vacancy factor on these. Let's figure in that at 10%. So we have a 30% vacancy and compensation factor. That leaves you with a net income of $72,000 or a 7.2 cap rate. Why is that important? Here's why. Let's say you're looking for a return on your investment. You have a million dollars to deploy. You're essentially getting a 7.2 return on your investment. Here's the thing though. Let's say you have a mortgage on that. Let's say your interest rate is five. Your real return on that is 2.2. Could be greater on depends on what your mortgage is, because you could use a down payment and you're leveraging the rest. We could get into this a little bit later. Subscribe to the channel. We'll get into this in later date in more details. Here's why it's important for a seller and a buyer to understand the numbers and how a cap rate works. You as a seller, you want the lowest cap rate possible. What's that mean? Or how do you figure that out? That's what you need to do is you want to get the highest price point possible. The higher your sales price, the lower your cap rate, the bigger your margins typically. You as a buyer, you want the highest cap rate possible when you're negotiating those because that's a bigger return to you. As far as gross operating income is, this is going to be from all sources. This could be all your rents as far as what your tenants are paying. This could be things like if it's an apartment building, maybe you're generating additional income off of coin operated laundry. Maybe you have parking that people pay for. These are the things that you need to calculate or take into consideration when looking at the capitalization rate or the cap rate. What I like most about using cap rate versus NOI and some of these other structures, it's a quick way for you to look at what would be your net profits if you did have a, a mortgage on it or what's your net rate of return. It's a quick way most commercial assets have it right there in the listing so you know quickly is this fit what i'm looking for yes or no also if it has a nice cap rate you could still negotiate that price down sometimes you could even get the seller financing on it when you're using cap rate again what you're looking for is your rate of return what is your profit after everything's been paid including the mortgage doesn't always mean it has to have a mortgage but I'm gonna assume that you're gonna put some sort of debt or mortgage on this asset, and then what does it look like? What you don't wanna do is, if you're planning on getting a mortgage, is buy something that's a four cap where your interest rate is four and a half. What's that mean? It means if you can't raise the rents, then you're probably gonna lose money every single month. What cap rate should you aim for? Well, this all depends. Are you buying or selling? Again, if you're a buyer, you want the highest cap rate possible, that's gonna give you the most amount of returns on a monthly basis. Now, if you're a seller, you want the lowest possible to give you the most amount of profit when you sell. It's important to use cap rate and backing into it and making sure that the numbers that are presented or given to you are accurate. Make sure you underwrite and do your due diligence. Make sure all the, all the numbers are in fact accurate. Get rent rolls of all of the things that they are saying are to be true, are true. There is some due diligence that you need to do here. One thing that I like to look at when I'm looking at a cap rate, maybe it's a low cap rate. Maybe I can negotiate that cap rate a little higher. Let's say it's a five and I get it to a six. Here's the nice thing. Look at the rents. Determine if things are undervalued. You always have to look at what's going on with the property. They may have not raised rents in 10 years. This is a real scenario. I see it often. We come in, we'll raise rents, clean up the property and double the income. This is something that you could do too. 
pay attention to the cap rates. You could do this and get these things to cash flow. And then as you do the, the improvements, you could raise the rents. If you like this video, you're gonna like this next video on how to add value to commercial real estate.